Jason Momoa, a.k.a. Aquaman, is he actually Rude Man? You see, people are getting upset with him because apparently when he appeared on The One Show yesterday with Nigella Lawson and James Nesbitt, he was rude to Nigella Lawson because, as he sat on the sofa listening to James Nesbitt speak, he turned his back to Nigella for the full interview. Um, as James just mentioned there, film is set in Northern Ireland and you've spent tons of time there, Jason, tons. haven't you, because of Game of Thrones? I love it. I miss you. I miss you, Northern Ireland. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I spent a lot of time there and... Um... You were also, do you know something? You were, when you were filming Game of Thrones, I hope you were in a decent trailer because I, I now own the company that owns all the tra did all the trailers for Game no, of Thrones. No, you yeah. <laughs> I think you might get a better trailer now to tell you the truth if you were there. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no, this is his trailer. No, no, no. This is, uh, yeah, this is my stint around uh, Ireland because I had a month off and we definitely weren't flying back home. And so me and my buddy just got a cargo van, a oh, panel man. van, went and got some, <laughs> just got some camping gear. And that's me right outside Donegal. Oh, yeah. fantastic. But it's the time of my life. Yeah. The time of my life. And I always went from... Just pub to pub, like dueling and yeah, dangle. Yeah. It's trying to find the best pint of Guinness. As and you know. did you? Well, it is, and it's beautiful. I mean, I, I, I'll be spending Port Russian Christmas, you know, and, and we look out. Now I'm going to talk over this. Hope you guys don't mind. But as you can see from the clip, he does keep his back to her for the full interview. In fact, if you find the clip and watch the whole thing, it's pretty much all Jason Momoa's back to Nigella Lawson's face. There's one moment where he turns his head to her, but not his body. Now, what do you think of this? Is it rude? Or is this just the way he sits? Could it be that Jason Momoa is such a big guy he couldn't fit on the sofa properly? He's got very broad shoulders. I know he's quite muscular and stuff, so maybe he just couldn't fit himself comfortably on the sofa and that was the best way for him to sit. I have to say, the interview is a weird one because this is what they closed the show with. We have our three celebrities on the sofa, James Nesbitt talking, Jason Momoa talks, but Nigella is given little opportunity to talk. She does say a little bit. Um, now, Jella, we know you, that you do love a Christmas film. Are you in for this one? I am. Christmas for Eve. Sure. Absolutely. What snacks will you be eating? Oh, now you're asking. Well, I think if it's in all the line, it should be wee buns, shouldn't correct. it? Oh, yeah, correct. Are. They're lovely. Is that yeah, correct? Absolutely perfect. Bit of soda bread, bit of potato yeah. bread. Amazing. Mm, bit yes. of Guinness. But that's about it. So it does seem like a rather odd interview. But odd interviews happen all the time, it's nothing new, especially on the one show where I think it's pretty much, is it live? It might be live. Anyway, these things do happen. That could merely be because she couldn't feel at any point that she could interject to the conversation or because she felt this man has his back to me, which is very rude and obviously doesn't want me to talk. Maybe she felt that. I don't know. I do think as a general rule, when you're sitting on a sofa like that, you should be kind of sitting, so you're facing the camera and the other guests can see you rather than a part of you. I think that's always the best way to do it. I do know that certainly in polite conversation, generally as a rule when I talk to people, I don't have my back to them. I don't turn around when people are talking to me and say, yeah, I'm interested in the conversation, but you may as well just stare at my shoulder blades. I don't know, that could just be me. Do you think he's actually being deliberately rude? To Nigella Lawson of all people? Do you think so? Or do you think it's just Jason being Jason? I don't know. Decide for yourselves. But right now, he is certainly in the press being vilified for being a rude Aquaman. So there we go. There's a lesson for us all in there. Even if you're a superhero, you can still have bad manners.